Salakia. So the Most High basically opened it up, you know, salvation for everybody. So now the Heavenly Father, you know, basically, uh, you you know, you you could be a spiritual Israelite. Okay, now follow me. Uh, It says, replacement theology teaches that the church is a replacement for Israel and that the many promises made to Israel in the Bible are fulfilled in the Christian church, not in Israel. Okay? So, anybody can make it. Okay? You believe in Jesus, you're good. You can make it no matter what church, no matter what doctrine, no matter what, you know, you can make it. Okay? And a lot of Edomites push that, especially Volcab Malone, because they want to be saved. Now, it's interesting that this guy... Okay, who shot up this, um, you know, grocery store is citing great replacement. Okay, which is a C theory frequently pushed by Edomite supremacists. You see? And what they're claiming is that they're being replaced. Okay. Uh, you see, and and that's an elaborate J conspiracy theory. Now, if we're the real J's or the real Israelites, maybe Esau is making a manifesto or making this shooting go down as a sacrifice, as a manifesto, you know, which is a public aim, you know, of policy, okay, of certain acts. Okay, a public declaration explaining reasons or motives for a course of actions done or planned. So this was done to explain their position, okay, today. That they're not going to be replaced, just like Volcan Malone. You know, he, he's citing replacement theology. This guy's citing the great replacement. You see the correlation? Then this guy right here wants to throw... These guys in the mix to throw you off. Really, but we're those guys. Okay, we're the real. Uh, uh, Israelites. So you see. You see where I'm going? But ultimately, the scriptures say they will get replaced. And that's where I'm going with all this. They will get replaced. Jacob will replace E. Okay, Esau. Okay, this is uh, Jeremiah 33 and 24. Consider thou not what this people have spoken, saying the two families which Yahweh hath chosen. All right, those two families are who? Judah and Ephraim. The two families which Yahweh Bashim Yashai hath chosen, hath he even cast them off? Thus they have despised my people that they should be no more a nation before them. And that's, that's of a truth. Okay, vocab, you know, guys like this uh, guy who shot up the uh, the store in Buffalo, they despise Israel, okay? And they know not that, you know, we're the, we're the chosen, and the Lord hasn't cast us off, that they should be no more a nation before them. That's what they wish, that we were not a nation before them, and that's why they do things like this. That's why they, they shoot up stores and have manifestos. That's why they have, uh, you know, infiltrated religion and have taught, okay, that um, the Messiah was a so-called, you know, that he was an Edomite. Because they want Israel to cease from being a nation before them. You see? And this is all one great big uh, plot by Esau because he is the master deceiver, you see, and all Edomites have their hand in deception, okay, but they are going to be replaced, man, whether they like it or not, okay, now, Edomite supremacists, they know that they're the inferior, okay, and they know that it's just a matter of time, you know, and I'm going to say this too. The, 
what does it say here? Read this. The false idea that a cabal is attempting to replace Edomites with non with non uh, Edomite people, all right, through immigration, interracial marriage, and eventually violence. And that non Edomite people are who? Israelites. We're going to replace them through immigration, okay, interracial marriage, and eventually what? Yahweh Bashem Yahshai coming down with great wrath. Because I'm not going to say we're going to do anything because we're not. The scriptures say that, okay? The scriptures say what the Most High, that He, you know, nowhere in the scriptures does it say that there's any promise of mercy for Edom. If you look at all the scriptures with Esau, it speaks about, uh, you know, the great, the great judgment. So they are about to be replaced. Okay. Thus saith Yahweh, if my covenant be not with day and night, and if I have not appointed the ordinances of heaven and earth, so like, and if and if I have not appointed the ordinances of heaven and earth, then will I cast away the seed of Jacob and David, my servants, so that I will not take any of his seed to be rulers over the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for I will this ca for I will cause their captivity to return and have mercy on them. You see, and the Lord made a covenant with night, with day and night. Okay, and he have appointed the ordinances of heaven and earth. The Lord makes day and night. He makes the ordinances of heaven and earth. Okay, the Lord makes it to where, um, you know, there's gravity, there's air, there's heaven, there's earth. It's all separated day, night. So, you know, and that cannot be broken. The, the Lord has set up the, the world in, in its proper order, okay? And if it can be tampered with, then he will cast away the seed of Jacob and David, my servant, so that I will not take any of his seed to be rulers over the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, meaning who? Yahweh Shai. But the Lord's not going to do that because uh, Yahweh Shai, uh, his throne is set up forever, okay? For I will cause their captivity to return and have mercy on them, and that's what the Heavenly Father's doing. So, so, like, so, you know, it's interesting, you know, these Edomites think they're, they're you know, they feel like they're getting replaced. And, and that's of a fact. Now, look at this scripture. This is Jeremiah 31 and 35. It says, Something uh, to the same effect. Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinance of the moon, and of the stars for a light by night, which divided the sea when the waves thereof roar. Yahweh of hosts is his name. See, the Lord does these things, right? If those ordinances depart from before me, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, then the seed of Israel shall uh, also shall cease from being a nation uh, before me forever. You see, so if those ordinances can depart, all right, from the Lord, from the power, from his power, then he will make Israel to cease to be a nation. But he's not. So, you know, there's no replacing Israel. The Lord is always dealing with Israel. So why are you Edomites mad and shooting shit up, then making manifestos? Is this planned? Hmm. Volcan Malone, were you really set up? Interesting questions how these Edomites are fighting tooth and nail to make it seem as the Lord is not with us. And they see us multiplying, they see us growing in the spirit, they see us teaching this truth. And now they want to look at uh, uh, social media and stop it and, and, you know, and really look at to what people are doing and saying on, on social media. Is there any hate involved? What does it say here? Look, replacement theology says the prophecies in scripture concerning the blessing and restoration of Israel in the promised land are spiritualized or allegorized into promises of the most High's blessing for the church. You see? They're spiritual. It, it, you know, the, the we, what we just read, this is spiritual. You know, it's just spiritual. The Lord, 
you know, he, he you know, he's, he's no longer with Israel, but it says here, thus saith Yahweh, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith Yahweh. But you can't, you can't measure heaven and you can't, you know, and the foundation of the earth searched out beneath. You can't, there's places that they haven't went, you know, on the bottom of the water and the bottom of the jungles and different places on the earth where they haven't searched out. So Israel will never cease from being a nation forever. It said, when we, didn't you just say that? It says, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. And they're not. Because, you know, and that's why, <clears throat> that's why, uh, you know, they have thought to shoot the, the moon with nukes. And you got China trying to cover the sun because these Edomites and these other heathens are trying to find a way to get rid of Israel. You know, you see uh, 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 this dude go into the store, shoot it up, leave a manifesto and say that he was motivated by uh, the great replacement. OK, they feel like they're being replaced. Volcan Malone is trying to fight tooth and nail, all right, to 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 basically uh, uh, discredit the fact that we're saying that we're going to rule. What does it say here? Uh, let's see. This is 2nd Ezra 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. That's what the scriptures say. Esau is the end of the world. Esau will be ruling at the end of the world. Esau in power is the decline of mankind. Him rising into power is the deterioration of life form itself. And Jacob, the 12 tribes, is the beginning of it that followeth, meaning they will reign in the next world, in the next kingdom, the kingdom of heaven upon earth. The Israelites will reign. You're not going to rewrite the scriptures, okay, and replace it with some modern day uh, uh, philosophy. You're not going to rape, rob, and murder the Israelites and turn around and walk right into the kingdom. You're not going to do what, you know, you've been doing, Esau, forever. Okay? There's going to be a judgment for all of this. New York. The shot fired, This is the worst nightmare that any community can face. And we are hurting and we are seething right now as a community. Police say 13 people were shot, 10 of them killed Saturday afternoon at this Topps friendly market in Northeast Buffalo. Crazy day. Of a mass shooting. Who's the real terrorist, man? All right. Do these, you know, does Esau, do, does he not need to be replaced? Face on the dollar? Every time we turn on the TV, who do you see? You know, who calls the shots? And they say that, uh, you know, they're, they're being replaced is a part of, of an elaborate C theory by these guys. You know, blame it on them. But really, those are us. So low key, they could be saying, hey, we see y'all rising up and y'all want to take us down, but y'all not going to take us down. You know, that's my stance on all this. You see? This is Romans 11 and 1. I say then, had the Most High cast away his people, the Most High forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. You see? What, what did we just read over here? The seed of Abraham, he said, right? What did it say here? Thus say Yahweh, if my covenant be not with day and night, and if I have not appointed the ordinances of heaven and earth, then will I cast away the seed of Jacob and David, my servant, so that I will not take any of your seed to be rulers over the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for I will cause their captivity to return and have mercy on them. And nobody can stop the ordinances of the Lord. Okay. Heaven and earth cannot be searched out, okay? And day will all will be day and night will be night. You see, and if you could stop that, then the Lord will cast us off forever, but but he won't. Okay? He won't 
uh, 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 cast away the seed of Jacob, as it says down here in the 26th verse, and David, my servant. Okay. Yahweh Shai, that came out of the lineage of David, the seed of David, is going to rule over who? The nation of Israel. Okay. That chosen line from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is what the scriptures say. So when you go back, Romans 11 and 1, even Paul said, in the New Testament, I say then, had the Most High cast away his people, the Most High forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. The Most High had not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What ye not what the scripture saith of Elias, how he maketh intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and have digged down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. All right, so Elias, he thought he was by himself. And he was praying to the Lord. He goes, they killed all the prophets. Am I by myself? And the Lord, you know, the Lord, did, you know. Strong Elijah, G, right? 2243. Elijah thought he was by himself. You know, and he prayed to the Lord. But, you know, hey, they've killed the prophets. They've digged down the altars. I am left alone and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? The Most High said, basically, I reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so then, at this present time, also there's a remnant according to the election of grace. So you have a complete number of men. You have believers out there that the Lord raised up in these last days, the Israelites. Okay, even so then, at this present time, also there is a remnant, right? There's a one-third uh, women, children. Friends of the prophets, you know, there's men out there, the believers, okay? A remnant according to the election of grace that exists. So, you know, salvation is going to be for Israel, for the righteous. That's what the scriptures say. And I'm going to say, don't say anything about for Edomites, okay, who want to uh, 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 make up conspiracies and want to bring out propaganda and want to point fingers and want to paint this whole scenario and you know, be deceiving and, you know, which we see through all this. We see through all of this. This is a. Let's go. This is Psalm 77. And seven, will the, will, will the Lord cast off forever? And will he be favorable no more? Is his mercy clean gone forever? Doth his promise fail forevermore? Hath the Most High, Salah, you forgotten to be gracious? Hath he in anger shut up his tender mercy? Salah. It says here, thou hast... Uh, 15, thou, thou hast with thine arm redeemed thy people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph, Selah. Right, Jacob and Joseph, those two families. They're not going to be cast off forever. If anything, they're going to supersede, okay, their enemies. Well, Esau's crying, possibly sending people to shoot up stores, leaving a manifesto where they're claiming... Um, What the great replacement, this, that, and the other. What also they were speaking about what critical race theory. You know, well, what you when you go into these theories, man, it's just a lot of crap. Yeah. There's their so-called anti-Semitic when really, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're not the chosen from Shem. You know, through Abraham, Isaac, and through Jacob shall they see to be called. But, hey, that's a story for another time. You know, they don't read the scriptures, you know, they just want to deceive This is for Yahweh will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance, but judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow. Okay? For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance, but judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. You see? 
The Lord's not going to cast off his people. Let's read the prophecy. This is uh, Genesis 25 and 23. And Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. The elder shall serve the younger, and that's Esau. He's going to serve the younger. And they're afraid. They're basically afraid to lose power. They're scared, hurt, afraid. And they do it through through the acts of, of terror. Okay, like what they did in Buffalo. Strong's H seventy two twenty seven. Rav. Rav. What does it say here? What it means to serve. Abounding in. More numerous than. Abundant enough. Strong. Greater than. Much exceedingly. Captain. Chief. Okay. All right. They're going to increase in size. They're going to be master, chief, captain, chiefs. All right. The elders shall serve the younger. So they're going to get replaced whether they want to or not. Strong's H 5647. Avad. Ibad. Avad. It says to work, serve, to labor, work, do work, to work for another, serve another by labor, to serve his subjects. Okay? To make oneself a servant, to be worked, to compel, to labor or work, cause to labor, cause to serve, to cause to serve his subjects, to be led or enticed to serve. They're going to be servants, man. What does it say here? Keep in bondage. Oh, Salakia. Enslave, keep in bondage, be bondmen, bond service, compel. They're going to be compelled strongly. You know, they're going to be enslaved. Okay. So. That's the truth of the matter, man. The Lord hasn't forsaken us. Neither can any of these manifestos, these these public declarations, these these political aims, these these Edomite, um, you know, cries for help, you know, are going to stop what's going to happen. You are just doing what you're supposed to be doing by being that what? That serpent. That devil and Satan, which, you know, you're, 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 there's no more place for you in heaven in rulership. There's no more place for you in earth. You're going to be casted out. And the Israel, who the Lord never casted away, is going to resume position. So you're going to be replaced. And that's that's basically what I want to touch on in this lesson. Lord William was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rokak, Wadash, the honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to all you Akim and you, and you Akwath that believe in sincerity. Shalom.